Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing off my End to City revamp. So without further ado, let's investigate what this thing is. And you'll notice immediately, yeah some of these blocks are not in the game. And that's because I'm using the Cataclysm mod. And it's also quite large in here. See that I made sure to refurbish the bridges and then the end ship with my own building style and the extra blocks but it still maintains some of that original vibe in certain areas in the build. There's also some ender golems meant to generate later on, but you'll probably be wondering, why did I build this? Well, this is for the Withering Apocalypse mod pack, which is a smaller mod pack, but it's certainly not to be forgotten. It's a giant mod pack that contains a lot of things and the world is freezing over. However, the developer didn't particularly like End City, so one day later in my DMs, what do you know? I now have a request to build an end city, so that's exactly what I did. And surprisingly, this only took 5 days thanks to structure gel. Although a few things here and there are reused, so it's a very interesting experience to go around. So I'll be introducing you to each area of the structure so that way you can expect to see it later on once this is properly implemented. Starting from the bottom layer, I have the entrance, a couple of void infused blocks, the rest of the structure is free of them so that way those can be randomly generated later on. And then, inside, a few shulkers designated by the jigsaw blocks, so you know, take a look around and you'll see the rough placement of them, although that's not final. And then, you have to do some parkour to get through here. Of course, it would be kinda dumb to include parkour in a structure filled with the levitation mob, but I did it anyways. And this is where it gets a little funny, because if you try just jumping, well, I incorporated Cataclysm's trap blocks, so you can see here, it's a little tough and you can get blown up if you don't make it out in time, so you have to be very careful. Then, what you need to do is jump up here onto the pillar, and then you have to do some basic parkour, take the one spiral staircase in the whole build, because of course, Gears Hall Studio is classic, to get into the first room. And this room is a little complicated. Even though the structure is nowhere near as large as the original end city, it's certainly going to take a similar amount of time with the sheer amount of parkour and nonsense that I put in here. Starting off, I have these weird stairs here. And you have to fight a shulker right there. And that will let you start doing the parkour. Unless you, you know, just get hit and go over here and skip the whole place. But assuming that you respect the structure and you complete it its intended manner, you kill the shulker, you have to jump here. And it can be a little tough jump going around a corner, but it shouldn't be terrible. Then you have to break this end rod, or you can just land here. Go here, and now you have to be careful. I don't really include the trap walks very much from Cataclysm, but I still put in the fair share of them to make sure that the structure is still mildly evil. But this one will teleport you, so you have to land on the end rod. Then you have to jump up here, do a little bit of back and forth, actually be good at the game, and then you have to jump in the middle. Of course, we have the second explosive block in the whole build, and this is the only one, besides the initial one at the bottom. Of course, this has gravity and will blow up, so I hope you have something to negate fall damage or a very good reaction time. Now you can jump up here and finish the parkour. Of course, beware of the shulkers, they might accidentally make it easy to do. And then you can go to the very top, and then you have to do your final parkour in order to get to the top room. Although initially these void stones were a bit more spread out, there is some structure block issues so I had to compress them a bit more to make sure that these bridges could generate. Speaking of which, when you go along the bridges you'll notice they're roughly the same, just replacing the ground and adding some banners. These are how you get to the side rooms. There aren't many variants, but still, I made sure that they're quite memorable variants. Going across the bridges, you end up in your first room. This one, you have to get hit by a shulker to fly up. But of course, the levitation doesn't end there. There are two shulkers on either side defending these chests. Of course, one of them's an ender chest, but still. And then, you have to get into the ceiling. And I hope you uh, have a ranged weapon or the ability to punch blocks, because otherwise, you're going to get pinned to here. And it's not going to be very pleasant, because look at how this funnels. If you get stuck in the very middle, you're going to have a not so pleasant fall, so you have to make sure you're at the very edges of the dome, and then, who knows, that one, if you didn't kill it, 
Well, it's gonna start shooting again, most likely. So you have to be very careful in this whole place. Then, you have two options from here. You can either go to this little area right here with the pillars, which has an obsidian vault. You have to kill the shulkers in order to reveal that there's a chest inside, defended by more shulkers. So if you think you're, oh, I can just go in, I can open the chest and leave. There's a lot of shulkers in this build anyway, so why should I care? Well, there's four in here, and they're going to repeatedly shoot at you, and probably each other, which will make them multiply and teleport about. So I hope you like more shulkers, because there's going to be a lot of them. And then in this random side building, it's a bit more basic. This is not actually meant to be a shulker in the final version, but rather an ender golem. And this door has been specifically adjusted to accommodate. And there's a chest back here, so if you want to reach it, you're going to have to deal with the ender golem. If you're unlucky and try going here too early, you might just get thrown out the window and potentially into the void, which would be really funny to watch. So you have to be quite careful around this whole place. And then you have your end ship. There's not very many differences here. I left it mostly intact because it's the prettiest part of the structure already. So no point in trying to change what's not really bad. And of course, the extra ender golem. And up here, the little thing I did, I did the starry night sky again. Because of course, I love this little effect here. Where you have the layered black glass and then the end rods and all that. So I left that in. Otherwise... This is pretty much the whole structure. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. A tutorial is still coming out this week. Gearsaw out.